Hello subscribers, thanks so very much for joining me on this video. I was just in the area there and I came across this fantastic castle over here. Um, and just over there, apparently this, this castle dates back from about the 15th century and it was built by the Fitzgeralds and uh, it's a very good looking one and it looks fairly well kept and apparently you might be able to still gain access to it. So um, I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible because A, I need the navigation <laughs> for this and um, I've currently got it on extended battery. So uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, this uh, structure here is part of the Bourne Wall. Well, when they talk Bourne Wall, they're talking about a wall structure that was around the main keep area. Um, hence why you can see that little section there. There's still a part of the wall there that went across. Um, and apparently this was surrounded by a 41-foot uh, wall, obviously back in its, back in its heyday. But um, enough, enough of the talk. Let's go and take a look. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's so complete. Oh, it looks like they blocked it off. Uh, looks like you're probably used to gain access to it. But that would have been, apparently, the stairwell um, access point would have been there. Um, wow. Yeah, you can tell that there's a defensive point there, right there. So what that would have done is that would have protected the main entrance in. So you can see it lines up perfectly. So they'd be able to throw incendiaries down there. So if anyone was uh, raiding the castle, that would be, essentially be their main access point and they'll be throwing stuff straight down there. Probably rocks and that, not necessarily boiling oil. Apparently boiling boiling oil was a myth um, in regards to that, but it was more like objects. Um, but wow, that looks fantastic. Uh, this is one of the turrets, apparently, that surrounded the, uh, the main structure. Uh, look at that, it's still in fantastic condition. No roof, unfortunately. You can still see through the, uh, the windows there, if you guys can see it. Um, up there you can see the, uh, there's, there's no roof on it, but uh, wow, what fantastic condition is that. And here I am, I'm in the countryside this time, I'm in a place called, uh, well, Kilkenny is the county, and um, I just came across this castle on the way through um, to my appointment, so I thought, why not just take a, um, a video, but we're going to go and check that out in a sec, let's go over here, and let's check this turret out first. Um, interesting. Have a look here. Right. Well, that probably would have been a staircase at some point um, that would have went all the way up. But um, uh, not much is going on. You can see some of the original plaster you see there. Uh, not, not that grey stuff there, but just next to it. I'll see if I can try and tap the screen there. That's the lighting, unfortunately. There is original plaster work there. Let's see, and uh, it's probably... Well, anyway, there's not much else to see there. Look at that fantastic um, entrance point there. You can see there where the original mason would have chiseled all of this to create a, uh, a gable. Also, that would have probably been an extension of the original wall, which would have gone that way. You can tell there as well, so fantastic. Uh, let's go check that window out. Well, there you go. Have a look at that. Let's go around. Oh, get a bit of water down my back there. Oh, there. Look at that. These old medieval windows. Oh, well, let's move on to the main one. Right, here we are. Here, yeah, unfortunately, we can't, it uh, doesn't look like, nope, we can't gain access to the entrance point here. Mm, smells very musty. Here we are. This is Burn Church Castle. And that would have been. Uh, what the original structure would have looked like. There it is there. Uh, Lost Tan's building is rectangular in uh, in plan with five stories. So there were five stories in regards to the structure. It's managed by the Office uh, of Public Works. At the top of the tower, both the north and south walls are carried up. Elongated turrets uh, between which the roof, the parapets are well preserved with typical Irish steeped uh, crenellations some 20 meters to the north. It's a funny kind of smell. Um, let's check this out. Wow. Very nice indeed. See how the, uh, the walls are very sort of sharp. Wow, look at that little corner window there. 
I'm going to walk along here. Let's so, so put a window in there. Someone out walking their dog here. There's some lower windows here, so we're going to try and see if we can take a look inside. And they've closed everything up. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, I thought it was a window, but I don't think it is. That probably would have been, I guess, that's probably where the toilet would have been, actually. Um, obviously, they had exterior, I'd say, channels. Uh, so, for instance, higher up, that would have put it into a big cesspit probably more than likely around over there. Sadly, that's pretty much it. Let's have a look there. Parapet, see if there's any more history here. They lost their land. Uh, there's a fine windows. There's a visual vaulted. The ground floor, which is narrow defensive loop, would probably have been used for storage. One of the three wooden floors between of which only one beam survives would have accommodated bedrooms. Okay, so there's a, there's a plan. Right, I'll just get another shot of that. All right, that pretty much um, draws to a close. It's just a quick stop here. I thought I'd get a video done while I'm down. Um, some of my viewers like the castle videos. I hope you guys like a bit of history. Uh, there's a church, actually, funny enough, right opposite the road, um, which is obviously closed up. It's all bricked up now, uh, which probably would have been related to the, uh, the castle grounds. But um, I thought that was particularly interesting. Uh, it's a pity there wasn't more of the, the sort of turret surrounding that left and I've managed to catch a break in the weather because it was bucketing down and I would have you know put my hood on I would have been like guys I'm doing this for you but <laughs> there it is there guys thanks so very much for joining please like comment subscribe as usual and um, I hope to bring more uh, history to you guys out there uh, take it easy and see you all later